Hello and welcome to the second part of this tutorial. If you haven't already watched the first one, make sure to do that. A link for it is down in the description. This time I made a little project file. Um, in this there are 3D format textures, two Fortnite HDRI which I use in the tutorial, um, the models, um, three project files, this dodging project file, here's a second project file and the project files from the tutorial here. On top of that you get the Cinema 4D Forester and Octane Render plugin with an installing guide. And last but not least, some screenshot which you can use for the render. So the Cinema 4D materials will be Octane materials. Um, select this material, convert materials, and yes, uh, I don't know why this doesn't work. Um, let me see. Ah, this is the one, and then go to material. Remove unused materials and I think this one is our grass texture. By the way, let's save this file because sometimes Cinema 4D crashes because of these many grasses. And let's go to um, projects, let's make a new project tutorial and we save it here. See. And yes, um, first of all let's get another seat uh, because this one looked a little bit weird. Yeah, I think this will work or maybe another one, so here is some more. Cool. Um, so let's see if this grass is this material, yes. Um, the next step we will add a color correction. So let's search for color correction and put it here. And then we can change the hue a little bit. Maybe a little bit more, more yellowish. Uh, bump up the saturation and the gamma. And cool. So let's go to our H to right and put the power to four. Oh no, that's too bright. Three maybe. Yes. And let's add some Fortnite plants. Um, here you have my model pack. First of all, let's get this bash. And we can use Octane Scatter too, but we want only to add a little view brushes so we can move them per hand and so let's position here one and duplicate it maybe in here and here so let's see how it looks So for me it looks good, um, but let's get a tree, so double click here, and let's save the file before it's crashing, let's group them together and call them bushes, and here, trees here, and let's re-render it. So the material from here is applied and yes, um, for me it in this scene there is this more greenish and this tree has a little bit more yellowish um, leaves so we can fix this easily. Um, we have two, we have two uh, options. Um, First, um, let's. Uh, my computer is lagging a little bit because it's rendering the scene. Uh, let's pause it. 
and now go let's go to node editor and we can select these all these textures go to view auto arrange so it's a little bit more structured here are my specular maps and here is the diffuse map so we have two options first of all we can go to our color correction and put it in here and get something with the U and stuff like that. Here we have a preview, but what we can do too is go in this, press edit and Photoshop will automatically start. Then press Control U, select this one, Control U and make it even greener, maybe so. Control S. Then you can close Photoshop, press reload, and it's reloaded. So first of all, before we render the scene, it's I think it looks very nice with my Fortnite HDRI. Um, but let's move these bushes a little bit down. And this one just a little bit. This one too. Now let's go out and let's place these trees. Maybe it's a little bit too big. So maybe so, and let's get this, this tree here. By the way, if you are using Octane Scatter to place these trees, that is no problem. But if you do so, the trees, uh, you can't rotate them manually, so they will always look in the same direction. What you can do is go to MoGraph, Effector, Random, um, go to Parameter, uncheck Position and check Degrees. And the first one you place 180 so it can uh, rotate 180 degrees. Then you go to your Flower for example, let's do this, go to Effectors and then you just drag and drop this Random Effector the same thing with the weed and we are ready to go so let's group these trees together and call them trees and let's put some here and this one in here uh, this is the skin and let's save the file and now we render the scene again Oh yeah, it's I for me it looks very very good. Let's get some final touches with the lighting. So what I like to do is um, I will pause this render again. I will stop this render. Um, what I like to do is get a new area light and rotate it so it looks on the scene. Move it backwards and higher 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 a little bit a little bit rotation and higher again so we can scale this one and let's go into our camera make it a little bit more yellowish a little bit more warmer and let's check so uncheck surface brightness uncheck uh, camera visibility and sh uncheck shadow visibility and let's save the file and render the scene okay we can't see too much of the lighting, so we will just increase the power maybe to 500 wait a second and for example here on this helm because I have um, the correct materials on it if you want another tutorial on how to do these um, body materials with using the specular max roughness map and the metallic map it's a little bit tricky here in inside of cinema 4d but um, for me the lighting is okay but let's get the key light on the skin so Hit this button, 
go out of your camera and we will get the new area light move it here rotate it a little bit let's check where the camera is so I want to place this light from the left so I will rotate it um, here is the lighting I think so let's move shrink this down and push it a little bit up that's totally cool uh, let's go into our camera uncheck visibility and uncheck surface brightness and again we will make it a little bit more warmer save the file and hit render I think it's pointing in the wrong direction let me see yes so we will just rotate it and go into the settings and we won't not sh we won't know the shadows and yes that's it you see now it looks very very unrealistic the first thing we can do is maybe get 5 and it should be not pointing on the grass so it should more it the, um, the light should aim on the sky go into our camera and see how it looks i like the results of this tutorial if you watch the tutorial up to this point make sure to subscribe i will do weekly tutorials about Fortnite's 3D artwork inside of Cinema 4D and Photoshop. Then I will see you in my next tutorial. Goodbye.